After a decade of work and billions of dollars invested in the not-so-secret Project Titan, the batteries behind the Apple car have completely died. Apple has officially announced discontinuing work on its electric vehicle. But what happened behind the scenes? And what does this mean for the self-driving car industry? Keep watching to find out the real reason why $10 billion could not save this ambitious project. Apple's innovation in consumer electronics is undeniable, with products like the iPhone and iPad. So imagining the company entering the world of cars was an exciting prospect. The project's creation was driven by the vision to create a fully autonomous battery electric vehicle that would carry the Apple brand into a new market and set new standards for technology integration in automotive design. But now it's been abandoned out of nowhere. So what is the truth behind this shocking decision? To understand this, we need to take a look at the story behind the project first. The vision for Project Titan was nothing short of groundbreaking. Apple planned to equip the vehicle with state-of-the-art technology, including augmented reality and virtual reality systems, adjustable tinted windows, and seamless iOS integration. These features were aimed at creating a unique user experience, synonymous with Apple's reputation in consumer electronics. The company wanted to be at the forefront of a rising sector within the automotive industry. But Project Titan's journey wasn't easy. Apple is a company with no prior experience in car production, so naturally they faced many complications. Manufacturing a vehicle from scratch involves navigating many challenges, such as supply chain logistics, safety regulations, and quality control standards, distinct from those in consumer electronics. Apple's troubles had just begun. Regulatory hurdles turned out to be another critical challenge. The automotive industry is heavily regulated to ensure safety and environmental compliance. For a fully autonomous vehicle, these regulations are even more strict and complex. Apple had to make sure that its vehicle met all legal requirements. But this was a task complicated by the continuously changing self-driving vehicle legislation. But pressure from the outside was not the deciding factor that broke the Apple car's neck. After all, all car manufacturers struggle with these same challenges. There's another reason that led the project to start rotting from the inside. The project was reportedly restarted multiple times, with significant changes in its goals and leadership reflecting the difficulties Apple faced in bringing its ambitious vision to fruition. What was going on in the minds of the employees working on this project? Within Apple's offices, Project Titan was infamous for its ambition, but there was a lot of skepticism it garnered among those who worked on it. The project, which aimed to catapult Apple into the automotive industry, was informally called the Titanic Disaster by some team members. This name was a joke that reflected people's real feelings about it. They were concerned about the project's viability and the immense challenges it faced. The nickname suggested that, despite the company's history of overcoming obstacles to bring innovative products to market, Project Titan might be heading towards a huge disaster that it could not avoid. Apple tried many efforts to prevent this ship from sinking. Efforts to save Project Titan included attempts to partner with established automakers. Hyundai, BMW, Daimler, and Kia were considered as potential collaborators. However, none of these discussions led to any concrete partnerships. Many reasons were given for this, from worries about brand dilution and control over the final product, to the complexities of integrating Apple's technology with traditional car manufacturing processes. These failed attempts showed how out of depth Apple really was in an industry they had zero knowledge about. It seems expertise in consumer electronics did not translate into expertise in the automotive industry. So it's no surprise that Project Titan wasn't exactly going in the right direction. The internal skepticism, the difficulty in forging partnerships with automakers, and the technological and regulatory barriers were indicative of fundamental questions about the feasibility of the project itself. As the struggle behind the scenes unfolded, it became increasingly clear that the path to a fully autonomous Apple car was full of more complexities than initially anticipated. But what was the final nail in the coffin? Before we get to that, let us know in the comments if you like the idea of a fully self-driving car, like the Apple car. And if you do, consider subscribing to our channel for the latest updates on autonomous vehicles. The real turning point came in the form of Apple's advancements in AI. As AI began to assert its dominance across various sectors, Apple recognized the potential of AI to be a game changer. 
a decision was made within the company to strategically reallocate focus and resources. This meant that Project Titan and all its issues had to be put on the back burner as Apple focused more on artificial intelligence. Simultaneously, the electric vehicle market was undergoing significant changes. The once booming demand for electric vehicles began to show signs of decline due to various factors including market saturation, economic conditions, and consumer preferences. Perhaps the most important factor here that influenced Apple's decision was competition. The competition within the EV space was massive, with numerous players from established automotive giants to new entrants trying to grab a piece of the market. The biggest problem for Apple here was Tesla. Tesla was miles ahead of Apple, and its hold on the electric vehicle industry was massive. In 2023 alone, Tesla accounted for 56% of all electric vehicle sales in the USA. That is an impossible number to beat by a newcomer to an industry, even if that newcomer is a technological giant like Apple. Plus, a lot of these automotive giants had much experience in automation, experience Apple was already struggling with. Project Titan's problems just kept piling up. Apple knew the project was a lost cause at this point. The company decided to channel its efforts towards AI and other technological frontiers that promised more immediate impact and alignment with Apple's core competencies. This strategic shift required reallocating the talent and resources that had been dedicated to Project Titan to areas where Apple saw greater potential for innovation and leadership. The decision was smart, since cars were not really working out for the company, and AI presented a better avenue. And so, Project Titan was cancelled, and all hopes of seeing a car by Apple driving in the streets was gone. But let's look into the future. What does this decision mean for the company and for the electric vehicle industry as a whole? There's a lot of ways this move can impact Apple, the very first and immediate concern being its image and strategic direction. The cancellation of Project Titan is a rare admission of Apple's limits in translating its vision into new markets. But in the long term, this move allows Apple to concentrate on areas where its impact can be more immediate and result in actual success, particularly in the development and application of AI technologies. Apple's withdrawal from the automotive project has broader implications for the EV and autonomous driving sectors. While the company's entry into the market was highly anticipated, its exit removes a potential disruptor and competitor, which could have catalyzed further innovation and competition. For existing and emerging players in the EV and autonomous driving markets, Apple's decision might relieve some competitive pressure. It also shows that entering the automotive industry isn't a walk in the park. If an industry giant like Apple can't overcome technological hurdles and legal issues, it just goes to show how high the barrier to entry is. For companies like Tesla, which have established a strong foothold in the EV market, Apple's cancellation of Project Titan removes a potential formidable competitor. Apple has scrapped its electric car plan, Project Titan. Tesla and other automotive companies are breathing a sigh of relief after this announcement. However, it also opens up a space for these companies to further innovate and dominate in the absence of Apple's competition. But Apple's pivot towards AI will still influence the automotive industry indirectly. Advancements in AI technology have significant applications in enhancing autonomous driving systems and vehicle connectivity, so competitor companies still have their work cut out for them. The future of Apple following this will be interesting to watch. While it marks the end of Apple's direct involvement in vehicle manufacturing, the company's ongoing innovations, particularly in AI, will continue to influence the technology and automotive sectors in broader, more indirect ways. We'll have to keep an eye out on how this will unfold in the future. What are your thoughts on Apple's move? And do you think the company will regret this? Drop your insights in the comments below.